Welcome back to the Community Corner Podcast, where we explore companies in the S500 through the lens of behavioral finance. I'm Arne. And I'm Mikkel. Today, we're focusing on the Mosaic Company, one of the world's leading producers and marketers of concentrated phosphate and potash crop nutrients. Mosaic plays a crucial role in global agriculture by providing the essential nutrients that help farmers grow food. We'll explore how behavioral finance influences their strategic decisions, DEI efforts, adaptation to market changes, and how they compare to other companies in the agriculture and chemical sector. Let's dive in. Mosaic has built a significant presence in the agricultural industry, but from a behavioral finance perspective, How do biases like the status quo bias and loss aversion influence their decision making, particularly in production and market strategies? Status quo bias plays a significant role in Mosaic's decision making, especially in production and market strategies. This bias might lead the company to prioritize maintaining their existing production processes and market approaches which have historically been successful rather than aggressively pursuing new technologies or market opportunities that could offer higher returns. While this focus on maintaining the status quo helps protect Mosaic's established market position and ensures consistent production, it may also limit their ability to innovate or capitalize on emerging opportunities in areas like sustainable agriculture or alternative fertilizers. Loss aversion is another key factor where Mosaic might prefer strategies that minimize potential financial risks, such as focusing on stable, high-demand markets rather than exploring less established areas that could pose more significant risks but also offer greater rewards. This focus on maintaining established practices and minimizing risk has helped Mosaic build a stable business, appealing to investors who prioritize consistent returns and lower volatility in the agriculture sector. Exactly. Mosaic's emphasis on stability and risk management has made it a reliable choice for investors seeking steady performance in the agriculture and chemicals market. However, the company must balance this with a willingness to innovate and explore new markets to ensure long-term growth and competitiveness in an industry that is increasingly influenced by sustainability and technological advancements. Let's discuss diversity, equity, and inclusion at the Mosaic Company. As a global agricultural company, how does DEI intersect with their business strategy and what insights can we draw from behavioral finance? DEI is particularly important for Mosaic, given their global operations and the need to address the diverse needs of farmers and agricultural communities worldwide. From a behavioral finance perspective, embracing DEI can enhance decision making by incorporating a variety of perspectives which is crucial for developing innovative and inclusive agricultural solutions. A diverse workforce can help Mosaic better understand the needs of different markets and customer demographics, leading to more effective and widely applicable products. For investors, the company's commitment to DEI can signal a forward-thinking and socially responsible organization, which is increasingly valued in today's market. Additionally, strong DEI practices can improve employee satisfaction and retention, which are critical for maintaining operational excellence and driving long-term growth. Investors are increasingly considering DEI as a critical factor, especially in industries like agriculture, where understanding and addressing diverse market needs is key to success. That's right. By embedding DEI into their corporate culture, Mosaic not only strengthens its ability to serve a broad range of customers but also enhances its reputation as a leader in socially responsible agriculture. This focus on inclusivity can also help attract top talent, which is essential for driving innovation and maintaining a competitive edge in the industry. Moving on to market adaptation, Mosaic operates in a highly competitive and evolving agricultural market. How does the company adapt to changing market conditions and consumer demands, and how does behavioral finance influence this strategy? Mosaic's ability to adapt to changing market conditions and consumer demands is crucial for maintaining its leadership position in the agricultural sector. 
From a behavioral finance perspective, the company's strategy involves balancing the need for innovation with the risks associated with developing new products and entering new markets. Status quo buys might make Massey more inclined to focus on their established crop nutrients and markets, but they also recognize the importance of staying competitive in a market that is increasingly influenced by sustainability trends and the demand for more efficient and environmentally friendly agricultural practices. Loss aversion might drive them to focus on proven profitable products, but they must also be open to exploring new opportunities in emerging markets and sustainable agriculture, such as organic fertilizers or soil health products, to meet the evolving needs of their customers. This adaptability is key for Mosaic, especially as they face competition from both traditional agricultural companies and newer, more innovative firms focused on sustainable solutions. Their ability to innovate while maintaining reliability is essential for their continued success. Exactly. Mosaic's success will depend on their ability to balance innovation with the strength of their established products, ensuring that they remain competitive while also maintaining the stability that their investors and customers value. They must continue to evolve and adapt to meet the challenges and opportunities presented by changing market dynamics and consumer expectations. Now, let's compare the Mosaic company to other companies in the agriculture and chemical sector like Nutrien, CF Industries, and Corteva. How do Mosaic's behavioral finance dynamics differ? Mosaic's dynamics are often compared to other leaders in the agriculture and chemical sector, such as Nutrien, CF Industries, and Corteva, particularly in their approach to product innovation, market strategy, and risk management. Mosaic's emphasis on maintaining a reliable supply of crop nutrients appeals to investors looking for consistency in the agricultural sector. Nutrien, known for its diversified approach to crop inputs and agricultural services, appeals to those interested in growth through a broad range of agricultural products. CF Industries, with its Strong focus on nitrogen fertilizers and production efficiency offers a more specialized approach, while Corteva's emphasis on agricultural innovation and seed technology positions it as a leader in the development of sustainable farming practices. Mosaic's focus on balancing reliability with innovation provides a unique value proposition, but it also means they must carefully manage the risks of being too conservative in a rapidly changing market. And unlike Nutrien or Corteva, which have a broader focus on diversified agricultural products and technologies, Mosaic's strength lies in its ability to maintain a strong position in the global crop nutrient market which has allowed it to build a loyal customer base in the agricultural industry. Absolutely. Each of these companies has its own behavioral finance dynamics that influence how investors perceive their value. For Mosaic, the focus on reliability and market adaptation provides a unique value proposition in the agriculture and chemicals sector. To sum up, the Mosaic company's approach to business is deeply influenced by behavioral finance principles whether it's through their production strategies, DEI initiatives, or market adaptation. But like all companies, they must navigate the biases and perceptions that can influence investor behavior. That's right. Understanding these dynamics offers a clearer picture of what drives Mosaic's stock price and where the potential risks and rewards lie. Thanks for joining us on this episode of the Community Corner Podcast. Until next time, I'm Arnav. And I'm Nikhil. Stay curious and keep questioning the narratives. Thank <laughs> you.